Well, greetings everybody, and thanks for watching. You're with Got That Funk, and this is a video follow-up to my question to the atheist antidote. Um, I thought it was important that uh, before I watch any of the video responses to my question, and before I watch Brock's new video, just in case he answers my question in it, I thought it would be a good idea prior to doing any of that to get my own views out there and then compare them with uh, what I may have to say about their responses. Um, so first of all, if you didn't catch the previous video, um, the basic question to Brock was this. What if you were right, but you were wrong? What if you were right about God, but wrong about heaven and how to get there? What if the price for admission to heaven was that after you die, you have to get into heaven, but before you can enter into eternity, you have to ask for the forgiveness of everyone who's died before you that you've wronged. And then you have to wait at the entrance until the people who come after you die so that you can ask for their forgiveness and they can ask for yours. And you have to forgive everyone who asks you for forgiveness as well if you want to enter eternity. But once all that forgiving's been done, you know, back, forward, and sideways, um, then you're able to spend eternity with the divine. And then this is purely hypothetical, of course. I'm not saying I believe this for one moment. Um, and then the question to Brock was, assuming that that scenario was the case, would he consider that to be more fair or less fair than the Christian doctrine that he believes in? And please explain why. All right. <clears throat> now, that wasn't verbatim. I'm not reading it. But I have my glasses on because I would like to read um, from the comments to my video. Because um, there was a very interesting point brought up here by a user called Bookhound63. Thank you for watching my video and taking the time to comment. Um, now, if I was a different kind of YouTuber, I could shred this comment in various different ways. But that's, I'm not, that's not why I'm here. Um, there's a, I'm just going to read the whole comment and then I want to make a simple point about it at the end. Okay, Bookhound63 says, Okay, so someone lives their life however they want with no regard for the consequences because they don't believe in God or an afterlife. Then they die and find out they were wrong. So they forgive all who hurt them and ask forgiveness of all they harmed to get into heaven. That is not fair. Forgiving and asking forgiveness are easy compared to living a life that needs no forgiveness and forgiving while you are in the moment, which is what Christ asks of us. I, I think that's lovely. Um, actually, I, 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 I see where you're coming from, okay? Um, but when you end it with that last line, you say, which is what Christ asks of us, how many succeed? Um, so, I, the, I don't understand how that impacts on the fairness of um, having to rely on the torture and sacrifice of an innocent man like Jesus in order to get something selfish out of it for myself. I don't think that's fair at all. Um, but I'll elucidate on that a bit further in a moment. Um, I did want to say uh, a few other things about how I feel about my proposition. Now, again, I want to stress, I don't think for one second that my uh, little scenario is the case, not at all. I'm trying to make a point about fairness. In my scenario, everyone has the potential to get into eternity and be with the divine. All they have to do is find the humility to ask for forgiveness and be forgiving. Um, and that's after the fact, after they realize there is a heaven to get into, so they don't have to wonder if God exists or anything like that. And all they have to do is wait until they've done all the forgiving and have been forgiven. Now, your incentive to forgive others is partly because until you forgive other people, you can't get in. And your incentive to ask for forgiveness is much the same. Um, and this user um, who I just read the comment from, uh, I understand where you're coming from, but I don't think you really thought my side of the argument through because if people knew that this was what was going to happen after they died, that they would have to wait to get into heaven until they did all the forgiving possible, it might impact the way they lived so that they would do as little wrong as possible so they wouldn't have to wait for 200 years before they get into heaven. Um, 
you know, it would strike me as perfectly rational that if you thought that that what that if that was your religion, basically, that all you had to do is be forgiving in the afterlife. Yes, of course, cynical people and assholes could still be assholes in this life and then uh, be forgiven afterwards. But isn't that what you believe? So I want to understand why it's more fair uh, to believe in the Christian doctrine, which excludes, you know, something like what? Five and a half billion people, four and a half billion people, something like that. Uh, whereas my uh, little scenario in terms of fairness would not exclude anyone at all. Um, because, you know, there's no hell in my scenario. Basically, you after you die, you wait to get into heaven. And if you can't be forgiven or, or do the forgiving, then you can't get in. Um, that to me seems more fair, you know, uh, and <clears throat> that's obviously my opinion. And I am now going to open myself up to what the other side has to say. And um, I'll make another video about this probably um, after Brock make hit, makes his. Just think, I haven't seen his, so he may not have addressed this question yet. Um, so those are my opening thoughts anyways, and I have more to say, but I think I'll save it. Um, this is Got That Funk. Thanks for watching, and may all your ups and downs be ups.